switchback. Hey guys, Riverdead here. Welcome back to another daily episode of Cube World. Back again with Kit and Sniffles. The new dynamic duo. The goofiest looking couple on the entire planet. Hope everyone's enjoying themselves in this this fine, fine Monday. It's Monday morning still for me, so yeah, get that one. I actually am recording the same day it's going live. We're heading west because of the fact that, well, it's just something to do. Now, we are headed off to the next biome to see what the heck is going on over there. And why are these guys so... I'm level 63. How are they on the same level as me? I must be near a forest or something. Like, what? like how are you guys so powerful? Oh, maybe they were just some weirdos in the group? I like the XP, though. I mean, they're all the same no matter what. We're not taking damage. This is weird. Oh, now we got damage. There we go. Damage finally happened. I have no idea, Sniffles. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, we're right next to the castle. Unless they were, like, remnants from that. Whatever. Who cares? It's not the end of the world. It's nothing at all. Yeah, so I'm actually energized and ready today. Very good sign. Very good sign. I've been so <laughs> tired and exhausted. The, the move, work, everything is just kind of like, just, it got the best of me. And I was just running on empty for, I think, the better part of two to three weeks. I've been just no energy at all for anything. But today feels like a brand new day, which it is. So we're excited to do it. Let's get ourselves some of these stupid potions if I can because I don't have any. I think we can do ten. That's a maybe ten. Thank you very much, notifications on all my things. Letting me know that people are commenting or people are posting or somebody's posted a video or somebody's gone live or... Because all the crap that I watch, everyone notifies me when it happens, so yeah. Uh, chatting with Chris today and it looks like we might be streaming Toxic today, uh, tonight on uh, Twitch. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's a free-to-play game. It's an arena shooter. Uh, much along the lines of like the old Unreal Tournament and that kind of thing. Um, I found it on Steam last week, like early last week. I mentioned it to Chris and he streamed it for a couple of hours and he really enjoyed it. I played a bit of it <clears throat> and um, I really had a nice feel, but I wanted to get into it and play, like join up with Chris and go head to head type of thing. And uh, This may be a game that we are going to do um, as a group stream. And what that would mean is if you guys are fans and, and are on our public Discord, what Chris and I will do is we will hop on to one of the chat rooms. Um, and w the, this will be the, the same thing anytime we do this. Uh, there will be notifications on it. You guys can pop into the chat room and listen, but uh, we just ask you guys to turn off your microphones so that we can actually stream. You guys can hear us live because there is a bit of a delay, sometimes 30 seconds on Twitch. So if we're, like, saying things like, you know, we're going to go over here, we're going to go over there. If you guys are playing and joining us, well, it's kind of hard to just watch the stream and play at the same time. So <clears throat> you guys can come into our public Discord, listen to us, and we're not going to be barking out orders or anything silly. Like, oh, man, can I get myself a SnowRunner? What do you want? What do you want? How about one of those? No? How about one of these? I'm, not, I'm just going to try all this stuff. I know that it is the... That was can it's not candies. What is it for these guys? That was like these like the Oh god. Well now it's that's it. You gotta fight everybody. You brought a stupid snow bowl. Or yeah, skull bowl. Why is everybody so powerful today? There we go. Die. Okay, let's get our um pet back. Where is Sniffles? Sniffles? There we go. That should be Sniffles, right? There we go. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, we will probably be playing that. So it's a free-to-play game. Uh, so you guys uh, can actually download it off of Steam. It doesn't cost a dime. Uh, you can put money at it, or throw money at it if you want, if you like the game and you want to support the developer and all that kind of stuff. A lot of the free-to-play games, they have like extra bonus stuff that you could purchase, that kind of thing, which is cool. Um... Depending on how it goes for us, we may actually do that ourselves, too. Um, and then... I, blah, blah, blah. 
words of stuff. My brain is still trying to contemplate being excited today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so tonight it's just going to be me and Chris doing it. We're just going to goof around and get ourselves familiar with the game and all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, probably later on this week, we will do it so that uh, everyone that wants to can join us. So, yeah, if, if you guys want to get yourselves organized and ready, you know, follow Chris and I on Twitch. Join the public Discord and install some of those free-to-play games that we're going to do. And our intention is to try at least once a week we're going to do one of those free-to-play games on Steam. That's multiplayer. And then we will stream it. And then anybody that's on the public Discord that wants to join us can come on, join us, and have fun. And uh, I think it's a, a, a kind of a neat idea to help develop the community and uh, just all that kind of stuff. I think it's... Uh, Chris was mentioning it. I'm like, this is brilliant. I love it. So, yeah. Blame Chris if you don't like it. I, I'm helping out a little bit with it, but yeah. And I'm enjoying uh, streaming with Chris. Anybody, any of my friends that have uh, that I've been like recording and stuff with. It's so much fun. But um, Chris took a bit of a break from uh, all of our antics for a while. And so, I mean, I've been recording with uh, Armor and Kit and War for like the last few months. And not discounting. Love the guys. Love it. But every now and again, it's nice to have another voice on the other end of the... Uh, of the <laughs> to hear on the other end of my headphones because I mean it's not that I, 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 I I'm sick of the guys and that is far from it but it's uh it's like a comfortable shirt it feels great doesn't always fit properly and you get used to everything and then every now and again just having somebody else there just makes it kind of go oh that's what I'm supposed to be doing because you know that's just it and I'm, I'm again not discounting on anybody and having armor back too because he's been gone for the better part of two months so he's back, uh, trying to talk him into getting into the streaming and stuff as well, which I'm I'm hoping he will join us. Is there anything here? I have I don't know if I'm passing stuff. Why don't we head over to the village? That's interesting. See the little orange under here, because Wally only renders the top part of the game, so that, that there's nothing underneath it except for like the caves and stuff. So sometimes you'll see like through a mountain, so you see the background here underneath that. Aha, see? Sometimes I knew some stuff. I does, I does, I does. Oh, really? Okay, let's ride our dude. So yeah, yesterday was fun at work. I did another 12-hour uh, shift, as I tend to do on Sundays. Um, I, it's picking up again. Football season has been uh, one of the great things for working in a restaurant is you... Uh, especially a pizza place. Football and pizza... Kind of go hand in hand. Ah, Scubbles! Had enough fun with you guys. Or maybe I have, maybe I haven't. If you're... Uh, uh, oh, nope, nope, nope. Don't get distracted, Rivet. You're on a mission. And that mission is to try to find a boss level. Okay, let's see if I can go this way a little bit. Let's go north. Yeah, so it was a lot of prep work done yesterday. Um, uh, one of my co-workers uh, had to take some time off and... The schedule's got to get shifted around. And uh, I don't even know if I was contacted or called because this is fun. I have an iPhone 5S, and there was a new um, iOS update a couple of days ago. And uh, I know there were some problems with it initially, and I didn't download it initially. And then a few hours later, they said, oh, it's been remedied. It's, you can get it. You know, It's not going to break your phone. So I did so. And it worked great. <clears throat> Killed my battery like crazy. Um... But when I'm home, I always run my phone off of Wi-Fi. I mean, there's no need for me using up my data if I don't need to. So I always just use Wi-Fi. So I'm off to work yesterday, and um, I just listened to uh, like music that I have on my phone. Like, I wasn't using Spotify or anything. I've got a couple of music collections. Trying, I finally got stuff transferred over to my phone, and um, I got to work. And I noticed that there was a comment on one of my videos, so I went to go respond to it, and I kept on getting an error message. Like, it couldn't do it. Um, and it showed that I had one bar of signal, and I know something was going on in the town yesterday, so I'm like, you know, this happens from time to time. I'm not going to sweat it. Um, so I just went to work, and, um, you know, I really don't use my phone a whole lot when I'm at work, and it was just exceptionally quiet yesterday. So I took a break um, later in the afternoon, and I was still getting no data signal. I'm like, well, this is kind of silly. So I restarted my phone. Lo and behold, I guess some changes had to be done. 
And all of a sudden I had signal again and I found like voicemails like my mom had called and text messages from my son. I'm like, you piece of crap phone. So yeah, my phone was out of commission for the better part of like four days, three days. Yeah, three days. And I had no idea. I mean, it just... You would think that with today's technology that you could update your phone and if you had no network connection... <coughs> voices! If you had no network connection, that you'd, you know, you'd know about it. Nope. Nope. I tell you, this is probably the last Apple product I will own. I'm not very happy with them. I'm definitely not a huge fan of the, um, uh, the iPhone 7. I mean, I've got a 5S. I mean, I only picked this up um, on sale anyway. So, I mean, and I, I paid 50 bucks to get it new. Because I had store credit and stuff with um, my, my carrier. So, I mean, it was not like a... Like $50 for a phone, I can handle. And I have no problem throwing $50 at an iPhone. I mean, that was... For me, I was like, yeah, sure. Like, for me, it's never been, like, I, I don't care about that status symbol stuff. And I was talking with one of the guys at work yesterday, and he's like, you know, his friends are getting grief. Like, oh, you don't have an iPhone, you have an Android. And I'm like, why does this matter to anybody? Like, wh why is there a social, like, like a hierarchy about what kind of freaking phone you own? That is just stupidity. You know, and the fact that that is their business model, that they have built themselves over being popular. You know, the cool kids in school. Well, you know what? I wasn't one of the cool kids in school. I was one of the dorks. And um, I'm pretty sure that a lot of the people that uh, set up Apple were not the popular kids in school. You know, I'm 90% I'm, I'm sure that uh, Steve Jobs uh, was not, <clears throat> you know, one of the, the cool kids in school. So I just don't get it. <laughs> wow. Why is my throat so itchy right now? I took my allergy pill. I have my cup of coffee. I haven't vaped yet. What the heck? Oh well, doesn't matter. So yeah, anyway, stupid phone. And, and see, the most random things get me on rants about stupid stuff. I don't want to be ranting. I don't. And, and you know what it is? It's just that so much in our society is built upon, you know, how, appearances, and it's just such a shallow thing. I mean, honestly, I mean, how, why, why should any appearance matter? I was thinking about it yesterday, you know, um, talking with a, a buddy of mine uh, and about my life. You know, I'm uh, 48 years old. I work part time and I do this uh, the rest of my time. I don't have a, a massive income. I don't have a retirement savings. I don't have any of that stuff. All I have is what I'm doing. And, you know, Buddy was saying, was like, aren't you worried about a 401k and all that kind of stuff and, and you know, and retirement? And I, I looked at him, I'm like, what do you mean retirement? Because that makes no sense to me. Like, I've never understood the need for, you know, working your butt off for X number of years and then saving up, saving up, saving up so that you can stop working and do nothing. So to me, that just makes no sense. <clears throat> I would much rather do what I'm doing. You know, uh, living life. You know, I'm not, like, an exceptionally social person. I, I enjoy what I do every day. Like, I get up, go for bike rides. You know, take a look at the nature I have around me. Go to the beach. Um, you know, enjoy everything that surrounds me. I work en en enough hours to pay for my bills and um, put aside a little bit of money so that I can afford things. But for the most part, like I don't, I don't have that drive. Never have really had that drive for saving up for whatever it is that, you know, whatever retirement's supposed to be. Because I think if I ever stop working or doing anything is when I'm going to die. And that's just in my head. I don't know if that's an actual fact. Okay, now you guys are going to see a little trick here that I like to try. That's not the trick. What I try to do is to swoop around. And then find another spot. See if we can climb up here. Now this looks like it's more advantageous. Yeah, I mean, like I, I don't think that I could ever stop being creative or anything. Um... 
because that would be the end of me. And I and I think that that's a, a lot of the things like I've said is like keeping youthful, and uh, and that I mean that's part of it is that like oh Jesus well we died or we didn't die but we should have. Um yeah I mean part of who I am is my creative process and my youthfulness comes from being creative and I don't know a lot of people that um, I, I don't put I was reading a thing with Stephen King and I thought that was kind of neat is uh, talking about his wife and um, their relationship and was saying that uh, being married to a creative person that doesn't do something creative is would be the worst thing like if if he hadn't have pursued his writing and, and his relationship uh, with his wife, then he wouldn't be still married to her. Because, you know, having a creative person that's not, not being creative is the death of a relationship. And I get that. And I think, like, not just uh, relationship-wise... Oh, Jesus. We're not climbing this stupid thing. We're done. I can't do it. Not happening. I don't care. We're flying past it. Yeah, so anyway, the creative aspect to me is like what I was thinking is like if I if I'm not being creative, if I'm not being true to myself, then I'm done. And if that ever happens, like if I couldn't retire. I think that's what I'm getting at is the fact that I I, I will never stop working in one way shape or form. I mean, it would be nice to have enough money so that I wouldn't have to worry about bills and stuff, which is, you know, I think anybody's dream, but I don't think I'd ever want to have that excess amount of money where I... Unless it was just for travel. I mean, if I had enough money just to travel and, and survive, that would make me very happy. But I would still do stuff. Like, I would still make sure I had, like, a gaming laptop or something so that I could, you know, play my video games and do my videos and stuff. And then, of course, I would have some cameras so I could record where I'm at, you know. And one of my passions is food, obviously, since I'm a cook. And I would, like, go to these little dive restaurants and stuff and, like, you know, all over the... Stupid laser beam witches! Hate you all! Well, they're pixels, so I mean, I'm allowed to hate them. Where am I? I hate this stupid... Where... Ow, ow. I was heading the right way, see? Instinctively, I knew that north is the way I had to go because the heck with this place. Where is our... Where is he? Sniffles! Get over here! Need your help. We need to get out of here. <clears throat> Man, what the heck? What kind of rant am I on today? Rambling for nothing. Just I'm I've lost my mind. Well, it's I don't think that yeah, that happens. I apologize. I don't really apologize. I mean, if you, if you've made it this far in my videos and you've watched enough of my stuff, you guys know what I'm like. I'm an idiot. And I'm a goofball. But yeah, I mean, if I had enough money to not have to worry about work. And I, I mean, work as in like a job that I have to do in order to make money. Then I wouldn't do it. But I would still work. I would still do something creative. I would still do something to keep me motivated to go every day and get out and do stuff. Because that is what I was trying to get at. And a long convoluted way of saying things is that the minute you stop living, you start dying. And for me, living is being creative. Living is being this goofball where I get to yell and scream at a computer monitor and have fun. And the minute I stop doing that is when I am giving up the ghost and saying that I'm done with my life. And there's no freaking way that's happening anytime soon. I have seen way too many reports of people my age passing away recently. And that's the other thing that's freaking me out. Is that I'm at an age now where I'll read the news that so-and-so of X number of years, who's now younger than I am, just passed away of natural causes. I'm like, how the heck does that even happen? What natural causes kill people at 48? This is like, uh-uh. New, -uh. no, new, no, new. No. So, yeah. Now I've got that mortality thing hanging over my head. And I'm like, I have no intentions of giving up ever. Like, people in my family live to be over 100 years. So I'm looking at this going, I'm not even, like, midlife yet. So... You guys can just stop with the people dying stuff because it's not going to affect me. Man, it's going to be awesome if I'm like 100 years old still doing this kind of crap. I don't know how that's going to be. Have like some kind of technology strapped into my head and I'll just be visualizing Cube World in my head and, and be playing it and recording it and yelling at things. 
Man, can you imagine the crotchety insanity that's coming out of my head when I'm 100 years old playing video games? I can't wait. Anyway, guys, that's enough for one day. I've rambled on. We've done absolutely nothing. Well, what the... Shit. Why is the camera so messed up? But anyway, thanks again, everybody, for all of your continued support on the channel. And I will see you all tomorrow in our next episode or tonight in our Twitch live stream, which I highly recommend. If you haven't come over and joined up on Twitch, come do so. I have a lot of fun over there. But anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Then, take care. Bye-bye.